नमस्ते वीडियो कैसे हैं आप लोग सो स्टूडेंट्स आज की आज हम पढ़ेंगे टैक्स ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ सर्च एंड रिसीट्स इन चीज़ों का टैक्स ट्रीटमेंट कैसे होता है बेसिक सैलरी सैलरी हम ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कर चुके हैं तो आज हम इसे डिस्कस नहीं करेंगे फी कमीशन एंड बोनस एनी फीस और कमीशन पेज और पेबल टू एन एम्प्लॉय इज फुली टैक्सीबल एंड इज इंक्लूड इन सैलरी कमीशन पेबल मे बी एज अ फिक्स अमाउंट ऑफ फिक्स परसेंटेज ऑफ टर्न In both the cases, it is taxable as salary when it is paid or payable by the employer to the employee. When compensation is based on fixed percentage on turnover achieved by employee, arrears of salary is also fully taxable. Arrears of salary are taxed on receipt basis, and the same has not been taxed earlier. However, relief under Section 89 will be allowed in respect of such arrears. Advance salary is taxable on receipt basis in the year of receipt. However, there will be no tax in the year of actual or accrual on such salary again. Further, SSC shall not be uh, shall be entitled to relief under Section 89. Now, as gratuity under Section 10, gratuity is a lump sum payment by the employer to employee on his retirement or termination. That is very important, guys. So you should listen carefully. Gratuity is the lump sum payment by the employer to the employee on his retirement or termination. Under Section 10, gives the manner of treatment of gratuity, which is summarized as follows: In case of employees of central or state government, any local authority, the local gratuity received on termination as per the service rule will be exempt. Next, in case of other employees where the payment of gratuity act is applicable. From the total gratuity received on termination, that is three lakh fifty thousand. Amount of gratuity actually received of fifteen days of salary based on salary last drawn or every completed year of service, or part of in excess of six months. While calculating the average salary, denominator will be taken as twenty six, not thirty days. In case of other employees where the where the payment of gratuity is not applicable, three lakh fifty thousand amount of gratuity actually pay half month salary for every completed day of service, ignoring the fraction based on average of the salary of ten months preceding the months of retirement year of service or part thereof in excess of service. This is the example. So now pension. What is pension? Pension is periodical payment uh, regularly by the employer to the employee after his retirement or death as a reward for his past services. Now, treatment of two kinds of pension that is, commuted pension and uncommuted pension. Periodical or uncommuted pension is fully taxable in the hands of all employees, whether government or non-government. Commuted pension tax treatment of commuted pension will be as follows: In case of employees of the central or state government or employees of a local authorities of a stat uh, or for statutory corporation with lump sum pensions received in accordance with service rules is exempt from income tax. Or in case of other employees receiving such lump sum pension. If the employee had not received any gratuity or termination of employment, half of the total value of pension will be exempt. If the employee had received any gratuity or termination of employment, one third of the total value of pension will be exempt. So these are the examples. I have given you the examples also for your better understanding. Now see leave salary or encashment of leave salary. So an employee can either enjoy the leave granted to him or cash in cash the same. The employee does not take leave and gets it in cash. The cash treatment would be as follows: in cashment of leave salary during the continuity, employment is fully taxable in the year of receipt in hands of all kind of employees, whether government is private. However, the employee will be entitled to relief under Section 89. In cashment of leave salary received in the time of termination from employment on amount of retirement of superannuation by an employee who is employed by the central or state government fully exempt. 
in case of other employee actual amount received uh, notify amount uh, 3 lakh and 10 months average salary cash equivalent or leave to be in cash and leave in entitled minus leave availed into average monthly salary so these are the examples of leave in cashment then retrenchment compensation any compensation received by workmen at the time of retrenchment or closure of transfer of undertaking including change of management resulting interruption of service to them fully it is paid under a scheme of closure approved by the central government in the other cases leave of the following amount will be exempt notify amount presently 5 lakh 15 days average pay of every completed year of services actual amount okay so now house rent allowance house rent allowance is paid by the employer to the meet uh, its uh, housing expenses so how we will calculate hr actually receive rent paid by the employee in excess of 10% of salary during the previous year 50% salary if the employee is residing in four metro cities mumbai delhi chennai kolkata and 40% of the salary if the employee is residing any other place that is house rent allowance these all are the examples of house rent allowance cash allowances this uh, we have already discussed all this thing right so that's all for today's class i hope you have understood the situation if you have any kind of doubt you can ask me here or you can ask your doubt in comments uh, box i can ask your doubt in live session also thank you very much